Hello everybody, I'm the Curious Command. Today, well, we're playing Kaiserreich, where what if Germany won World War I? No, you heard me right, we're playing Kaiserreich, not Kaiser Redux. Because I decided that I need to give the old tried and true just that much love. And the country we're going to be playing as to do such a thing is going to be Sardinia. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are you playing as Sardinia? That's like the equivalent of playing as Haiti. And if you said that, you'd be wrong. Actually, you're not that wrong. They both have good focus trees. Anyway, Sardinia. Yes, Sardinia, because Sardinia has been newly updated, yes. And not only that, but they have a Ballin King, the Explorer King, funny, and a decent focus tree for Kaiser Redux. Kaiser right. Sorry. Play in the alternative way too much. So, born after the Welt Krieg, we were a part of an Italian federation, but then the Italian federation collapsed because the Austrians couldn't keep it together. And, well, we decided to remain independent. You have a wonderful, beautiful, industrialized nation of two factories. And Krensky's dead. I couldn't have seen that coming. You couldn't have seen that coming too. And no, oh, so weird seeing these guys. Like, there's no, no Senate like in Kaiser. Never mind. I shouldn't compare. And yes, we are in the Entente. So, we're going to have to send maybe a couple guys to go beat up Afghanistan. Not sure how well I feel about that. Sending our brave brothers to Afghanistan. But you know, well, if the whole gang is doing it, I might as well too. Well, sucks to suck, Italian Republic. I uh, predict that you might get curb stomped in your future. Yeah, Austria is not doing too well because of the whole hundreds of little tiny ethnic groups within their pretty absolutist empire. Well, they, they're doing some reforms under Karl. He was kind of like that, but you know, how fun. China's exploding again. Are you the, which colleague are you, man? That's all, all crazy. Oh man, everyone's favorite. Sexy dresser over there. Oh, as well, Mosley's now in power. How fun. Oh, totalist gang really is getting up and getting ready over there. Well, uh, I'm sure that Totalist and Syndicalist won't arise anywhere else in the world because that would be bad for us. Eternal autocrats we are. And my guys just arrived in time to miss the party. So, <laughs> all right, come all the way back, guy. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful vacation. Oh, boy. Come on, it's not that long of a hike. So, we are in a deficit of steel. But, in the hopes that we create 12 steel out of nowhere, maybe, just maybe, someone will be crazy enough to give us a civilian factory for it. Dang, Iran. Didn't see that one coming. I feel like uh, when people say Iranian Revolution, they don't usually mean the social democrat kind. Oh, oh, hi. I, for one, have yet to see this before. Well, uh... I imagine pretty soon I'm gonna get called into that. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? Might as well. <sighs> Yay! Well, in a shocking turn of sense, that Marseille guy, well, he got cooed by uh, this general. I don't distinctly remember as being a syndicalist, but okay. We got rid of the Jacobin regime, and now we have, uh, I wonder how, what Mosley thinks of that. So yeah, the whole. Everybody's hey, even India wants to gang up on South Africa. Come on, man. This want to be radical socialist in peace And just for you know that war bonus. Let's give yourselves a wonderful little pride of the fleet Hopefully nothing uh, happens to that. I don't exactly have the industry for a uh, Industry for for anything unrest in the mines. Come on. Who doesn't want to rest in the mines? Well, let's deal with these radical ideas taking place. I suppose come on Working conditions? What are you even talking about? Well, we have a choice. We can either push for the autocratically minded Marshal Bagdolio, or for the relatively apolitical General Maras, who will probably be pushed around by, as he's a weak technocrat, as a tool for further democratization. Perhaps this is what the king intends to happen. Perhaps that is exactly what I intend to happen. So, yes, lovely. Uh, you know, sometimes the 5%s can stack, but, you know, it's usually, eh, okay, whatever. We'll switch things up a little bit. Yes, now that we're doing that, we shall uh, <clears throat> steal more stuff from our allies and use pity and plight. Eventually, maybe we can build more than two divisions. Sweet. Luigi's influence here is causing us to end our state of siege. Don't mind the rest of Italy is doing. And we'll eventually establish free and 
fair elections. Voila! See? Okay, guys, how... How is that... That's totally gonna lead to an era of economic stability. Yay! And more likely, political instability. Now, you may say my jokes are corny, but I ask you, what's cornier? Not saying jokes at all, or... These basic-ass icons. Ugh. Okay, I'm definitely listening to this one. We're going to war. What well, didn't even matter. Are they actually at war? Yet? Okay, they're not at war yet, but... Alright, time to break off, and... Let's get some real fighting action in here. I've also taken the opportunity to introduce a big navy. That's at least the uh, prior we're putting on there. I could have gone for Air Force, but you know what I decided? Navy is going to be a cooler option. Get lots of little submarines so I can make lots of little casualties to the to the socialists. Because I'm not actually that far. I, I have some ships in there. Not that far off. Especially if the socialists are prioritizing air and such well i can prioritize blowing them the heck out of the water okay well at least my units almost made it there in time yeah what did i say hey macarthur he was ready to get split in kentucky and missouri man the entente is stupid enough to give me guns that's awesome ah uh, boom we our call to arms has been relatively successful i uh will secure the railroad all the way to calcutta so I can continue imperialism. Great, great justifications here for this war. Hell yeah. Oh man. Looks like the second American, I thought that was 2024, not 1937. Oh, that's crazy. Well, at least, uh, yeah, everybody's at each other's throats, except for New England, as always. They get the chill. There's no cats here. Oi, hey, Finland, welcome. Hopefully you can get some units all the way over here. Oh, the Panama Canal, who could have? Oh, uh, Canada, Jesus. It was worth enough the U.S. split Panama in half. Looks more like the U.S. is going to be split in half. Well, nice to see both totalists got cooed or kicked out or something. Can I can, we can pardon Mosley just because of that mustache. Let's just say that uh, some of Italy didn't exactly appreciate Italio Balbo's rule over there. Civil War? Meh. Us? Yeah. <laughs> we got shipyards, so I don't know. Don't come and mess with us. We're single-handedly saving the, uh, India. And by saving, I mean extending imperialist rule. Expand shipyards? More like actually have shipyards now. Now we can actually make convoys, potentially submarines, though I feel like these would just sink immediately. And, and not the actual way submarines are supposed to sink. Ooh, can I take parts of India for shits and giggles? <laughs> Ooh, look at boys. Sardinians got their own little- I'm kidding, that would- that would really just be stupid. Anyways, now, I actually have a reason to research submarines, especially because I get a wonderful little technological buff to that. Uh, right here. Lots of technological buffs, do not underestimate them. They can, uh, they can certainly help you out. I did when I was first, uh, first getting in the game. And now my game plan is basically to rush um, more special units, because I plan on my limited army being majority special units that I can use my navy, attack, raid, push up, you know, the basics. So, of course, when we invested in the Imperial Economic Development Committee, is the name? Council. <clears throat> uh, we're obviously going to go for naval engineers, because I plan on getting big navy. Bigger than the 25 little Misi ships I have. Voila! I decided to do elections, because... <laughs> King, Ugh. I'm more of a free, free and fair elections kind of guy, you know. And uh, with free and fair elections, that sort of, I don't like to look at the syndicalist thing right there. So it comes to the election, and uh, well, we have two major parties, center and center right, Christian Democrats, of course, and then the Sardinists or the Sardinia Action Party, which are progressive and federalists, or the liberals who just come and screw everything up causing gridlocks obviously i'm not going to choose the liberals i'll choose the sardinists because that seems dope so now they flood the island and because look they were already the biggest party and how fun you still got the king because it's only a parliament it's not a exactly a big thing yet. you know you know we're, we're getting there and so a moderate or openly radical republican Bada bing, bada boom, we got the social democrat, which is radically Republican, Republican. So, now we got that. Let's finally manage to 
maybe fix that unrest in the mines. All right, I'm so happy to tell this like 50,000 Sardinian people were going back to India. And lastly, we have decided to fully mobilize our entire population. Yippee. Uh, what small population of a million people there is. Well, we got a revived Russian Empire, and there's no better Russian tradition than trying to kill Finland and failing horribly. I mean, it's like national populist versus paternal autocrat. Which one of these far-right douches are gonna win? King Ferdinand of... Ooh, I'm sorry that uh, I'm kind of marrying into your family, particularly because I'm going to come and kill you in a moment. And by a moment, I mean a few years, if I can even get to that point. Oh my god, I didn't even realize we got this. Finally, can I build more? Oh, I can build one more vac. Beautiful. Man, I was I was nerfed there, but not yet. Can't put Sardinia down just yet. See, those special units are certainly paying off. Uh, while the French try to, Portuguese try to do their own shenanigans, I took the opportunity to cut through and slice, which, uh, hopefully will put an end to that war rather quickly. Lots, lots of wars going on, the Ottomans are still duking it out. Still. Guys, he's betrayed us. John Curtin is a syndicalist. What? <laughs> I'm a little confused why he's a dictatorial syndicalist. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a war set upon us. Oh, finally, something happened. Now, I would appreciate if you could just beat each other up, but no one directly win, and that would be wonderful for my favor. Absolutely. And, uh, I don't exactly know how I am supposed to make my triumphant return uh i can only justify when the Welk Krieg begins so if uh, france could go after nanzig well i always called it nanzig what they always, i thought they had this bit Did that change god dang uh, last lorraine they still want uh really funny read in this <laughs> well this coup is already uh, obvious upfront to the dubious calmer democratic process, many now regard him as the savior, which is kind of funny. Anyways, shenanigans. Uh, my military is racking up some Indian on the kill streak. Oh, I should say. And we shall walk right in their capital. Poof! They're gone! All I'm saying is if the British can extract from India, why can't I? Uh, this is for real. I'm not giving this back. This is mine now. Actually, can I? Well, voila. We got ourselves... A, I got myself a puppet. And as such, we can milk all their manpower for what it's worth. All quarter million. I want to see something really funny. When you, when you train this down, it tells you you can't place on your home island because it's someone else's. Well... <laughs> you can. <laughs> the best it's, 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 no joke look that best freaking bug in this game <laughs> all right I'm, I, I feel like i gotta step in at this point to help you guys out it's uh it's looking pretty dot why do you have bite you're really focusing on bicycle guys what on earth believe it or not no i'm not gonna go fight john Curtin in australia guys please i have actual important business to attend to here trying to save italy from dying and uh to be quite honest with you, it's, it's not it's not looking too hot. I just defended the worst naval invasion of my life. Oh my god. Alright, let me just quickly I, I spent literally like three years building this one cruiser. It's definitely gonna be my pride of the fleet. Anyways, I gotta get okay. Maybe it might be worthwhile to get involved in some war so I don't have to demobilize my economy. Well, I'm pleased to announce we've lost a division and sure okay. God damn. Oh, buddy, 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 deli, deli, deli. Come on, man. What? You're, you're really trying to justify yourself here? I think not. I, I'll i just happily keep that to myself. Oh, God. Oh, no. What? Mussolini. Oh, that's a bit surprising. He's a bit bald. He has no, he has no top hat, so it makes me sad. But don't worry. We're ready for anything that comes our way. We've fortified this island to high heaven. No, 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 no. I don't want to get... I don't want you to drag the whole entire down with you, New England. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, this is bad. I'm busy trying to beat up Pennsylvania over here, but it looks like we got more pressing matters concerning us. Is, uh, is Vladimir going to step in on this any moment? Oh, Cleveland is 
now mine. Yeah, I'm kind of single-handedly winning the war here, it looks right. Oh boy, I wonder if the Halifax conference is just gonna fail again. That's it's gonna be a big surprise, big war. <laughs> oh, Lamau, he died mid-war. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you, this war is not going to offer in particular because Sweden, Italy, and Spain are on his side, so me being the little island that wants to reconquer Italy is making me a bit anxious to go up against uh, that. I was the one who took Chicago, and I shall be the one to get some. No, it, it, I uh, took uh, took New Jersey. I took New Jersey. Sardinia, I helped out. I single-handedly like took everything. And now I don't particularly feel too involved in the rest of the Civil War particularly because I would like to invade Italy, rather. So I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, plan a little get-together. So, in a surprising twist of fate, uh, <laughs> Germany is able to 1v5 the entirety of both factions, which is quite surprising, because they normally don't do that in Kaiser Redux. Maybe it's different for here. Anyway, so I'm going to take the opportunity to deploy my massive fleet of a couple ships, just so we can get these guys out of here. Just so we can... Oh, wait a week. Just so I can finally invade Mussolini. Communists. I'm coming here. The social democracy king. Explorer king. Alright. Uh, I just might need to work up on that fuel a little bit. Might might be worthwhile. Damn, the Ottomans are thick. Alright, finally. Click these into action. Destroy socialism. And save Italy. Remember, if the if the women and children run away from you, that means they're communists. If they stand still, that means they're well-trained communists. Oh boy, the pride of the Sardinian fleet is coming. It might might be a uh, might be important for us to to convene in that. Are you guys in a battle at the moment? Because that would be oh good oh good oh good oh goodness gracious. Why did you make me do this? I told you to get out of there. Okay, I did a little restart because that wasn't going to work. And I'm back here. Austria joined, mind you, and I have no idea what on earth they're doing. But now I'm going to once again destroy Italy. And this time, yes, I'd like to go beat up everyone. Pretty please. Yes, sir. Mm. Thanks. Quickly. Oh, crap. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, you won a battle. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. <sighs> oh, wait, whoa, whoa. That's green. Come on, you guys are going... Yes! Finally! Okay, okay. We have our entire team is going to land in Marseille. I'm going to happily take large chunks. I don't care what France does down here. I have been hours preparing to do this one... One tiny thing, because... <laughs> one tiny, beautiful... I'm going to get in here, and the war is already going to be over. But... From the looks of it, they were woefully unprepared. And I have some command power, my some CP stocked in the back. So I'll be able to get off on that. Great! Okay, 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 okay. We have, last but not least, let me save one guy here. Come on, secure this port. It's not that hard, guys. I'm gonna kinda die without it. Uh, I would appreciate it. Boom! Okay, great. Now all we need to do is hold. Uh, most likely a good idea is to condense this into a one for your martial division. And all shall be swell. I, Sardinia, have actually managed to do something besides woefully take over parts of India. Yes. And so now with we shall be seriously be able to help out this war effort. And all these Sardinians will be proud to die for conquering land that isn't even theirs. I, I just managed to secure Marseille, so we have a bulk. We have a nice little bulk hold. I wish there were kind of like more people here, but understand that France and Canada are a little bit distracted. Why Canada? Why would you have to declare war on these guys? Come on! Oh my God! Well, I, I, I'm now in the Iron King. Haha! Ha, yippee! But this is getting straight up annoying. I'm single-handedly trying to carry this, guys. Please, for the love of Saint. All right, everybody, and it's time to get the hell out of France. We're Dunkirk in this shit. Like there ain't no tomorrow. I swear to God. Oh, they're dropping like flies. They're dropping like flies. Get, come on. 
last few last few Indians that I forced to fight in France. Just get get the heck out of there, man. Oh man, like every Hoi Hoi game. Let's see what's going on in Asia. Holy crap, Japan built a huge empire that's unstoppable. Oh, we couldn't have predicted this. Well, I almost have the ability. I just gotta, gotta wait a little bit longer for that naval invasion, you know what I mean? Love when the game fly like Russian Empire. Oh, Russian Empire, Russia. Oh man, they actually happened. Well, well, I'm the third. Looks like you can take all your armies this way and take out France, right? That worked last time. Uh, and with me, I noticed that they have a suspicious lack of um, naval power here. So my <sighs> laggy. So my plan is obviously oh, shoo, shoo, and take all of Italy. You know, basically. Ooh boy! Now I can finally do some shenanigans. Uh, Germany's done some shenanigans here. You know what? I don't even want to question it. Anyways, please let us invade. And maybe you could actually finally do something in our Germany. That, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Oh, finally. We have finally conquered Sardinia, which is an accomplishment in its own right, considering they had no guys there. And now, uh, frankly, I guess I have to... Uh, we leave? Are we? Are we? Are we being silly? Hold on, I gotta. Might be worthwhile to secure a bulkhead too, if I can do that with one of my one of my lovely units right here. Oh, there we go. Finally happened. They had. There was virtually no. I don't know where the Italians are, but I can tell you they're certainly not here. Well, it appears as though we're fight. We're coming to an end. Paris has been retaken again. Sardinia, me, is huge, and Romania is collapsing to Ukraine. So. Oh, Canada. What Canada? What on earth is going on? Oh my god, it's really been five years and we have another election. That's crazy. Well, now we got the social liberals in our coalition. Social Democrats are still the largest, obviously. Yeah, this is not pretty. Oh, Italy is now ours. Wonderful, except for the little bits of Austria. But hey, now we can oh, do the fun game of trying to snuff out all the socialists. Well, the game just crashed. I'll have to do Sardinia another day. I, uh, I guess I didn't catch that one there. I, uh, I don't know why they'd want London and England. It seems like a miserable place to live, but you know what, Germany? You do you. Now, let me help me capture Northern Italy. I say that completely unironically. Actually, that joke would be more more appropriate with Southern Italy. Ho -ho. Southern Italy is mine no matter what. I'm going to extreme lengths for this at this point. Perfection. I find it so funny. The most random people love to give me random crap. Well, I... Thanks, Cuba. I appreciate it. I hate the fact that I'm severely over my maximum supported division limit, but I need to end the, this war myself, and it looks like it is going to come down to myself. It's final. To end the Second World Krieg, France needs to go. So I'm going to make sure that happens as speedy as possible. I know this is sure to fail, but maybe, just maybe, it's what we need to kick him out of the game. Funny enough, Iberia is not a major. <sighs> Please, there we go. Yeah, stuff is looking great for us. Barcelona is now Sardinian. <laughs> On bicycles, too. Look at the, look at them go. He's driving. <laughs> Tour to de France, here we come. Oh, and voila! Yes, wonderful. So many naval invasions later, we have finally decided to carve up the world. Sorry, John Curtin, and make out of this one. Ladies and gentlemen, after so many hours, so many hours, I've decided to create something beautiful, something very very beautiful mega huge sardinia uh, yeah this is really just d disgusting are you really so sure you're indivisible at this point this seems to be a rival france right there okay sure claim it oh goodness gracious finally italy i have waited so so long i have ga given autonomy to sardinia i believe maybe i don't know and my lovely sphere of influence has spread, particularly into Spain, because haha, I took Spain and parts of France. Yes, well, I could keep going, but I am frankly very tired, and all you would get is just me clicking buttons more. So voila, here's the stuff. 
Oh, cool. I promised I would just continue going being social democrat. And that is Kaiser Reich. It's been so long since I've even played Kaiser Reich. It's, it's fun to get back into it, but dear God, is it draining on me. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, now, we best go to the patrons. A very special thank you to Steppen, Aaron Moon Unit, Atonia Law 2021, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Org Zone 25, CSP 6, 7, and 9. Thank you all to being wonderful Patreons to my community, and I wish you all a wonderful evening. However, on the scale of countries that abandoned liberal democracy, there's a country with a government that is such a sham, such an obvious fraud of a dysfunctional and kleptocratic state that exists for no purpose, that in any way serves its people, that it can't even be said to have any kind of philosophical excuse for its existence. <laughs>